Find the cape. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a little upset. I'll be honest. I'm upset. I'm a little upset because uh, Ryan. Shout out to Maze Mad Man. Gross. Because Ryan Gosling rumored to be a part of the MCU, but it was not in the role that I wanted him to be cast in. It's not Century. Uh, that wasn't the role either. Would it should have been? Well, know. again, we don't know if it's official. We got we got Hall H coming up here this summer, so we'll be able to get a lot. I feel like a lot of more clarity on some of the more recent leaks that are coming out. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, no, Marvel could have done the thing with the meme and made Ryan Gosling Black Panther. Please stop. <laughs> no, he's going to be Ghost Rider, according to recent rumors. So. Hmm. We'll see if that. Yeah, even I don't happens. know if I love him as Johnny Cage, Johnny Blaze, Johnny Blaze. Excuse me, Johnny Blaze. Yeah, Johnny Cage. Who the hell is Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat? Holy shit! Yeah. Wrong character, <laughs> Johnny Blaze. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Not I don't that. Know. And, uh, honestly, I'd be surprised if he would sign up for something like that. Like all of the relevant parts. Uh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. The most interesting parts of Ghost Rider is when Ghost Rider is Ghost Rider, not when he's Johnny Blaze. Sure. I have the sneaky suspicion that Ryan Gosling will kind of have uh, uh, Pedro Pascal Din Djarin syndrome, where he needs to take off his fucking mask all the fucking time to show his pretty little face. Well. Because if there's I mean, one thing Ryan that Gosling. we know about Ryan Gosling, he sure loves to show the kisser, right? Yes. So, like, is he really going to be down to be Skull and Flamehead? For two thirds of the movie, that's a good question. You know, I, I mean, I kind of roll with it because I feel like it's a, it's a turn from like the, the romantic romantic movie Ryan Gosling is more like a gray man Ryan Gosling. But yeah, you're right. Not yeah, I mean, that. even even at that, he was just he was just extremely blonde to the point where if you put any other hair color on it, man, I'm just gonna see the piercing blonde all through it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting. I mean, plus, also, Nick Cage already kind of put his stamp on that role. Did he not? At least we know he's not going to talk like this. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Uh, all right. Another rumor has come out about Black Panther 3. Yeah. That Shuri, Okoye, and Nakia will help the young T'Challa, T'Challa Jr., T'Child, whatever you want to call him, Become the next Black Panther. They better not. And that'll be. And I don't know if that will. That will have to include a time jump. Uh, Shuri giving up the mantle so quickly does at least work with She'll what probably in the die. Comics. She'll probably die. Jesus, the Most entire likely. royal family just dies. Yeah, that's probably going to be a thing. It, it just it doesn't it doesn't drive at all. Yeah, there's probably going to be some civil war aspect in that because now we're trying to bring yet another bastard into the into the royal halls to to assume the throne, like like that didn't just go terribly, like they didn't just go terribly with Eric. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like there's going to be a lot of apprehension, and now you got to look. You're gonna have to be very xenophobic towards the little boy because he ain't really from Wakanda. He got mm-hmm. Wakandan blood, but he Haitian. Like there's there's going to be a lot of nasty stuff that comes off of that that premise if they continue to go down that line, and I for the life of me can't understand why they would even be entertaining this. Now the only reprieve that we got is that it hasn't been officially announced uh, by Marvel, so these rumors are every bit as legitimate at this point as the rumors that we had before about them pivoting from all of this. Yeah, right. Like this this sounds like a pivot. It's just not holistic enough. All right, we're going to we're going back to to a male Black Panther. Uh, it's going to be T'Challa Junior. Well, now now it's not clean. It's now what happened to Shuri? Too late, damn near. Well, it, it and, and then also, how old is he going to be? Like I, like I said, it would have almost had to be a time. <coughs> or, we, yeah, we passed the mantle off to a a, a damn child? ten or eleven year old. Yeah, because he was at least like six. Let's let's be generous and say he was seven years old. Yeah, and then we account for the five years. That 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 we lost during the blip because this obviously didn't happen during the blip. Mm-hmm. So then, are we are we talking about he's twelve years old now? He's twelve. <sighs> Stupid. Stupid. Or no? Wait, hold on. 
at this point, the five years had already happened. That's why he's five or six or whatever, oh, however yeah, old he is. Yeah. He's five. Yeah. So even with a time jump, let's say we time jump 10 years, uh, 10 years, a whole decade, which they're not going that far. A 15 year old Panther? That's what we're looking at? 15? Young Avenger? Huh? No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, William Moloch says, we get a new Black Panther every movie, which is a fact and a terrible precedent to set. Um, Bird says, off topic, LOL, but I don't know if I am tripping, but it feels like the recast of child movement is growing. Let's hope Marvel does the right thing. Does it feel like it's growing to you? You feel like there's more people I, at see, least somewhat echoing the sentiment now? I feel like... I feel like there was always this idea that it had to reach a critical mass. It has to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The moment that you convinced 60,000 people to move in unison for one cause showed that there was enough energy to maybe to 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 alter course. Mm -hmm. You know, I I am not great at math, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up a calculator here. But let's say we go 60. We go 60 K. And we times that by average ticket price of twelve fifty yeah. nationwide, about twelve fifty, twelve dollars or so. Sounds about right. Okay, that's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, almost a million dollars. You don't think a million dollars would be enough for them to be like a, hey, uh, hey, right. and that's just if every single one of them people bought one ticket. And that's at that point. It's three quarters of a million if they buy one ticket. Not renting out theaters, not taking their kids on a sleepover and going to see Black Panther before. Mm -hmm. Not having a birthday party. Not just taking your family out to see it. Right. And then going out to buy merch. And then going out to buy the movie on digital. And then buying it on Blu-ray. And, and this, that, and the third. Like seeing it again. The first one. There's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in those individuals single just those single individuals alone if they don't spread that wealth any other way mm -hmm. so like it wasn't like we needed it to reach a million right to reach a hundred thousand even that sixty sixty thousand was enough kind of how was the word i'm looking for transitively right to make a difference. Now, the problem with recognizing that is that everybody was looking through this one app of Twitter. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm if I'm getting feedback or if I'm getting pushback on Twitter posts every time I post something about recast a child, that must mean it's 50 50. No, 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 no. If, if the Drake and, and Kendrick beef has taught you anything, let it teach you how bots work. You buy them, you press the button, you have your support. And it's almost like you're talking to a real person. And once again, let me remind you that the majority of people that you talk to on these apps are fake, especially Twitter, especially Twitter. Yeah. So, like, I don't think you could ever really gauge how well or how bad it was actually going because of the the kind of standard principles that we're thinking of don't apply to where this was most commonly being talked about, which is Twitter. So. I, I think that, yeah, it, it, it's as strong as it has ever been. But now there's there's there a much less of an incentive to fight it. And that's the biggest di di difference that I've seen. Like there used to be it felt like a concerted effort from not just Marvel Shields, but also black Hollywood to kind of like keep that role gate kept in the aftermath, the immediate aftermath of Chadwick Boseman's death. So. Now it just feels more like the Hollywood crowd has kind of forgotten about it and turned their back. You don't even hear the cast and crew talking about it no more. Of course. You don't hear anybody. You don't hear Winston Duke. You don't hear uh, 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 um, Letitia Wright. Wright. You don't hear Nakia. Or Nak not Nakia. Lapita, uh, Lapita yeah. Nwango. And uh, you don't hear anybody really talking about it anymore because we're not doing pressers. I guess everybody's no longer sad because we're not doing interviews. Yeah. But that, that class of people has already let it go. Now it's just the Marvel Shields, and they don't really have a leg to stand on. Oh, the cast and crew. Sorry, the cast and crew aren't his family. And his family thinks otherwise. And regardless of what the cast and crew thinks and what the fans think, 
they got to make money. I'm sorry, what the what the the cast and crew thinks or what his family thinks, regardless of that, they have to make money. And the majority of fans did told you on the second iteration of the movie that they didn't like what they saw. I mean, the the shills never really had a leg to stand on. No, they didn't. But I feel like the argument is getting even thinner. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. Now you present the logic, and they just they just mosey off. They don't even respond anymore. Yeah. Before they used to go back and forth for you for a little bit. Now they just kind of, oh, all y'all coming? Okay, yeah, no, I didn't want this much engagement. <laughs> uh, your favorite show from Marvel coming up is Wrapped, Wonder Man. My favorite show. Stop it. Good old Wonder Man. Yeah. He's been, he's been waiting on that one. Who's been waiting on it? You. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Any thoughts on it, Rapping? I don't think anybody's been waiting on Wonder Man. I mean, what is, what is there to say, man? Like they they went we went through with it. I I wish y'all y'all the best. That's that's about all I can say. Sure. I I don't know what to expect from the character, other than being eternally annoyed by the pending love triangle that is Vision, uh, Scarlet Witch, and Wonder Man. Mm-hmm. It'll probably make me throw the fuck up. Gross. But uh, other than that, I, I, buckle up. Buckle up. Will you be watching? I don't know. Probably not immediately. I don't know. I have to, I, I, I have to see it at least once all the way through. Okay. To be able to critique it for nothing else. Okay. But I'm not very excited about it. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lanterns has been picked up for eight episodes by HBO. Uh, looks like we've got some writers. Damon L- Lindelof of... Watchmen and the Leftovers and Tom King of Mr. Miracle and Supergirl. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. They will serve as executive producers and they will co-write. Yep. So. Who's directing? Uh, Chris Mundy. Which he did what? True Detective, Night yeah, Country. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, I'm That's sorry. why I like him. He's the showrunner. And executive He's the head producer. showrunner. Yeah. So, yeah, I like this a lot. I like that team up a lot. I like Lindelof with Tom um, King. With Tom King. I know a lot of people have kind of been out on Tom King here lately. I think balancing him out with Lindelof, and then you add the fact that the the showrunner is the guy from um, from Night Country, from True Detective, and Ozark, and Ozark. Like I've I've never had trouble with dialogue from either one of those shows. So I I have mighty mighty amounts of confidence in this in this project and how it's going to be written. Um, mm-hmm. it's really up to the uh the two actors who played John and and Hal to drive it home. Uh, why do I feel like at one point there was three of them? Three it was be Hal, lanterns. John, and um, uh, uh-uh. it's two. You may be thinking about um, uh, in Superman, Nathan Fillion is playing uh Guy Gardner in there. Maybe. So maybe that's the third lantern you were thinking about. Could be. But yeah, no, I'll I'll be excited to see who they actually get to play Hal and John. Yeah. That's also going to be cuz I guess Hal is going to be older than John, so they're going to probably get a, a decently young John and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know what what the age is, but I I I venture to guess the 25 and under probably for John and maybe like 30 to 50. I think they, they, they said Did it. they say it in there? No, nah, not in that article, but I think when we gave the casting rumor, it said it. Uh, I'll have to find it. Look it up. Uh, Later. While I continue to look for that, uh, Ahsoka will recast Balin Skull for season <gasps> two. You don't say. Yeah, I do say. So. Really? So Ray Stevenson, you mean Ray Stevenson's performance as Balin Skull didn't transcend all other iterations of the character? No, not according to now that's me. funny because I don't remember seeing Balin Skull in any other iteration of media. So I guess by default it would have to transcend all other uh, uh, iterations of media, right? It literally, yeah. <sighs> Maybe they just don't like Ray Stevenson. Maybe well, he's a bad guy. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's a thing. But yeah, no, they don't feel like Ray Stevenson is that and important of a, a an actor to not recast, like they said with 
you know, Black Panther. Y'all pay attention to Hall H for for SDCC. Y'all pay attention to what's going on there, because again, you can you can kind of pitch it to the side or ignore it or spin a narrative or you know use your vast array of networks to control the communications around your projects but eventually especially when you're not fiscally uh successful you're not making money at least you're not making the type of money you need to be who you are be the 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 corporate giant that you are if you're not doing that you leave yourself very vulnerable and now things like that, those type of failures kind of compound. And now with you being a little bit weaker at this moment, I don't think that they could just ignore all of the calls mm-hmm. from inside of the house, inside of the Marble House. Sure. So keep your eyes on Hall H for any bending of the knee for Marvel in a hopes to try and convince their fans to come back. Because again, Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Um, they'll make as much money or more than they did oh, with Guardians, Guardians 3. Mm-hmm. It's just, are, how is that going to convince people to start coming back permanently? No. Are we, are we going back to pre-in-game MCU fever? Like the amount, uh, man, it, it was a time, man. If you have just gotten into the MCU in the last five to ten years, I, I you don't even know what you're missing, dog. You have no idea. Big yikes. All right, so apparently DC Studios is looking for a Hal Jordan between 43 to 49 and a Jon Stewart between 27 to 35. Okay, a little bit older than I thought for Jon Stewart, but yeah. Yep. Somewhere in that standard. That sounds right. Though. Sounds about right. Yeah. So, no, I'll be, I'll be excited about that, but I feel like – I definitely want to see who they get to play both of them. Yeah, for sure. Kevin Feige confirms that Fantastic Four will be a period piece. And it's also set in an alternate universe. Which is stupid. Why are we making this movie? I don't know. Give, Why are we uh, making this movie? To give Homeboy another acting role. Do are, are we establishing other universes to come together for Secret Wars? Is that like? But why are the X Men, the Avengers, and the Fantastic Four all in universes of their own? Why are we doing that? Because that was the only story they could fashion to get all of them into this universe. That's all I got. I I don't I don't know, man. It, it's it's. Very convoluted. Sure. I, I don't really. S- <laughs> They're frustrating me a lot. I can't even. I sound like Joe Biden. I can't form a thought. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not up here looking like. Like 1960, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, you want to know an interesting little little hole that they've created for themselves Uh-oh. in all of this? Uh-oh. So X Men X Men 97 is canon, right? Yep. It's canon. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we just seen T'Chaka in the 97 video right Mm -hmm. let's say let's say t'chaka is 60 years old okay so then we'll go back 30 years 35 years or so to when t'chaka was 25 so now the new boy king is not t'challa even in live action in this alternate universe we could just make it be t'chaka a 25 year old t'chaka Young T'Chaka. You're you're convoluting things. No, no, I didn't convolute shit. No, not you. <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't yeah, do it. Not you, them. They're, they're, they would be making things entirely too convoluted and ridiculous. I, I, I don't understand. Okay. Even if you're going to go back in time, right? That would explain why they're not around. Mm-hmm. Do you need to compound that with, oh, also they're in another universe? universe? Like, you don't need to do both now. No, you don't. Like, if you're already doing back in time, that makes sense why we don't know who they are. They're old as dirt. Yeah. Old as dirt. Even though there would probably be references to them, but maybe not. I've given all the bail I can give. No, for sure. For sure. Okay. Uh, Vigo Mortensen's thinking about a, uh, a possible movie that he'd be willing to do. His name is Aragorn. 
Uh, he'd be willing to return for the hunt for Gollum, Gollum, if it's a good script or he goes broke. <laughs> hey, that's a crazy thing to One say. One or the other. Like, if the script's good, I'll definitely do it. Or if I go broke, and then I'll do anything for money. Like you. The script is the most important thing to me, uh, unless I'm broke. I have no money, and I'm lucky to get any job, so it just depends. Right. If you see me out here and I'm struggling... Then you know I'm about to do that movie and it's about to suck. Suck. <laughs> suck. Catch me in the unemployment line. I'm about to make a Tubi movie. <laughs> <laughs> a Tubi Lord of the Rings movie would be insane. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. Moving on. <laughs> you shall not pass. You shall not pass. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Inside Out 2 has become the first film of 2024 to pass $1 billion worldwide. Y'all, I feel like this movie hasn't been out that long. How is that even possible? That happened quickly. It hasn't been out that long. It's been out for like two, maybe three weeks. We're just now getting into July. It, yeah, it couldn't have been out that long. It's already passed the Billy? It came out June 14th. So literally two weeks ago. That's crazy. Yeah, that is insane. Do your thing. Sheesh. Tops one billion at the global box office. That's crazy. Damn. For an animated feature? Golly. Who's, who's inside out? Is that Disney? Yeah. Whoo. Now that's a whopper. That's a Dis- whopper that Disney they needed. Pixar. That is a whopper that they needed for sure. Damn. Mm. All right, well. Uh, Shuri was right to bring T'Challa to Wakanda. You never abandon your family like T'Challa or T'Chaka did. No, you're right. The problem with that is that T'Challa had already reconciled the heirs of his father. It's like they repeated a story arc for him in his passing. He already dealt with the sins of our father's arc. So why would it make sense for T'Challa to do the same thing to the to child in the first place. Right? Like I was just mentioning the internal strife. Like there's definitely going to be civil war. And in, in a lot of xenophobia over the fact that this kid was was born and raised in Haiti. I guess this is going to. It's not going to be. Un, unless, unless we just totally try to tell a whole other story about some different people. Which is halfway what we've been doing so far anyway. So that, that's possible. Yeah. Um. But you're right, he probably shouldn't be repeating the same mistakes of, of his father and, and, and bring him back. Talk to Ryan Cooler. I don't know. A uh, Quiet Place Day 1 opens with $53 million domestically, the biggest opening in the franchise. Any thoughts on that? That's solid. That's solid. That'll be another one I see next week. I don't know if I'm seeing that out. I'll definitely see Quiet Place next week. Okay. Sure. And two things for Eddie Murphy, actually. Beverly Hills Cop 4 has a $150 million budget, and it's releasing next week on Netflix. Uh, Also, Eddie Murphy says that the donkey movie will also include his dragon wife and half-dragon donkey children. I did not know they were making a donkey movie. I didn't know they were making a donkey movie either. That shit just kind of shocked me. Is Shrek going to be in the donkey movie? I feel like he should be. I feel like he should You be donkey sidekick this time. They're... Uh, oh, no. Shrek 5 and a donkey spinoff. So, I don't know. Where was Shrek 4? It was called something else. It wasn't just called Shrek 4. It was called uh, Shrek Forever After. Shrek, Shrek 2. Shrek, Shrek Forever, Forever After wasn't the third one? No, Shrek the third. And Shrek Forever After. Yeah. I don't think I saw Shrek Forever After. I don't think I've seen the last two. No, I've seen Shrek the third. That was the one where they introduced Puss in Boots. Please don't step on our grass. Stay your shoes. Wipe your face. face. <laughs> Do like there was a time, and, and I mean way back when I'm talking VCR, push the button to rewind time, where we watched that shit like 50 times in a say, row. I feel like I still remember on that song the VCR. Of that. Yeah. Insane. Please don't step on our grass. Tie your shoes. Wipe your Face, do like is, do like is, do like is a perfect place. Yeah, no, I only still know that because watching it at your house. Let's do it again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hell no. Anyway, that's all I got. 
Any other thoughts? Anything? Uh, I think that is pretty much the gist today. Give us your thoughts on everything we discussed here in Behind the Cape in the prompt below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Come back next week. Do it every Thursday. Absolutely. And make sure you check out our playlist full of other Behind the Cape rumors. Uh, and also, make sure you tune in. We're releasing these every Thursday. We shall be back.